Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another PSD to CSS online uh, video tutorial. Today, we're going to look at dynamic content. Uh, a lot of people have asked for a way to to be able to add arbitrary amounts of text, or or, or pull text from a database, or uh, some other way come up with text that you don't know how much it is when you make the page and to have the page scale or or expand to fit the text as opposed to those scroll bars and uh, of course the PSD to CSS online by default it uh, you know takes a static Photoshop file so it's it's not really uh, doesn't lend itself real well to this but uh, but it's not too difficult either um, we support uh, relative uh, tags CSS layers and uh, and with a little bit of editing um, you can get it to happen and I'll show you how so uh, let's start with uh, by looking at our Photoshop file here. I've got one that uh, is pretty straightforward. Uh, the idea is this light blue section in here is going to be where our text is going to show up. We'll call that our text area. And I want this white border part with the little shadow here, I want that to expand uh, depending on how much text we put in. So as usual, we'll look at how we named our layers. Um, we have the, uh, the the logo and the background are here at the bottom. I've got a folder here that I've called text area, and inside it we have uh, a number of layers that I made out of this this section here. And uh, I'll show you what they are. We've got the uh, body area here. This is uh, you can see that's the light blue area where the text will go, and it has the underscore text uh, layer naming name in it, and it also has underscore relative. The, the basic trick to getting uh, these this expanding text to work is is to use the underscore relative uh, layer naming convention from PSD to CSS online. Uh, everything in here is going to have that, and that's how they'll they'll kind of stack up. We'll, we'll also r remove some of the uh, some of the height uh, CSS uh, definitions and uh, some of the top CSS definitions. Um, so uh, again, looking at the layers, we've also got this one called top underscore relative. And you can see that's that's the top of our area where the text will be. You can see it kind of flash on and off there. We've got the uh, middle relative area, and we have the bottom relative area. You can see how that's uh, the top, the middle, and the bottom for our text. Um, and again, the, uh, the the body of the text itself goes kind of inside that middle area. There's a couple of other tricks about uh, the the names we want to use here. Uh, the middle area we want that we want to see that image but uh, we don't want it to be content for the layer we need it to be in the background so uh, here I'll zoom in we make it take take a better look at this um, you can see the middle relative area actually has the underscore background layer naming convention added to it as well so we have uh, top uh, middle bottom and uh, we have the, the body of the text that we saw and uh, we have one other one that's uh, kind of part of the trick too is uh, it's a container for all of our relative elements. You can see it here is this blue background. Um, I don't want the page to have a blue background there, but I need that area defined to uh, to let the, the CSS engine, to let Firefox or Internet Explorer know where these relative parts start. So uh, I've called this one container underscore empty. Underscore empty is a new layer naming convention I just added today. Um, but uh, it, what it'll do is uh, it just won't put that blue part in. It makes literally a, an empty uh, layer, um, but uh, as you can see, it's it's the um, it just it's behind all the relative layers there. So that's our file. That's 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 all the tricks we have to do for layer naming. Otherwise, it's just drawing what I want it to look like. Um, I'll file save this as uh, save it there. Let's see, let's get rid of that. And um, so. After that, we come to uh, PSD to CSS Online as usual. I made my Photoshop file. All I'm going to do is upload it. So I'll browse to it here and upload the file. And PSD to CSS Online will chug away on it and convert it into our HTML page and all the images that are required. Takes a little bit, but not too long. This is a pretty simple Photoshop file. Sometimes they can take two or three minutes. Um, be prepared to wait a little while. Um, but once it's finished, it'll come back to this page. It'll automatically update when it's done. The page will, which should be any moment here for us. There we go. So uh, now it's a little scary. If you look at the way uh, it was 
render uh, that, that the page was generated without modifying it you get these horrible spaces in there see those here's our bottom way down here a big blue area and here's a big space that's not good um, but I'll show you what we do to edit it to make it do exactly what we want um, I'll download the zip file I'll just open it here so here's our zip file that's all the the images and the index.html file our jQuery JavaScript um, I'm gonna just put that right over here in this folder all this stuff there we go oh yes let's go ahead and copy and replace that um, okay so we'll close our zip file and once again we can look at the file that was generated here it is right from my hard drive so what we're gonna do is edit this I'm gonna edit it with uh, my favorite uh, text editor here and we're gonna go through here and look at just a couple of these uh, layers that were generated here we've got comments that tell me what we're talking about right so that I don't have to know all the code I named this layer logo that's not the one I'm interested in uh, background center well, we're not interested in that one container empty that's a new one but we don't have to edit anything in it here we go here's bottom relative the trick is that we want to get rid of the top part the part that defines where the top is it's a relative CSS tag and we want it to move around based on how much text we have so we don't want to tell it where to put the top we'll let it figure it out for us it's already relative because of the uh, way we named it in the Photoshop file here's middle relative background this one also we want to get rid of the uh, top modifier and I'll come, maybe come back to the cinema here's top relative now I'm not certain why this is but you have to remove the top modifier for this one too it would be neat if you could leave that one there because that one we know where the top is supposed to be but but if you don't remove that it doesn't work um, and then body text relative okay this doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah this is where the actual text is so this is that uh, that light blue area inside uh, the middle area we also want to remove the top to that actually I'm sorry we don't want to move the top to that what we want to remove from this one is the height the uh, the height of the div is going to be dependent on how much text there is so uh, we're going to remove the height element and likewise for the for the middle relative up here we'll remove the height middle we want to grow uh, both text and uh, middle relative background we want them both to be able to grow so we don't want to tell them how tall to make them top and bottom however aren't going to grow they're going to move but they're not going to grow so it's okay to leave the height in there in fact we want to do that so uh, I know that's a lot of things to comment out and and it may not make a whole lot of sense right off the top of uh, you know right off the bat but uh, you certainly can watch the video over again and uh, and uh, and do it that way um, so this is also the uh, the body text this is where our text is going to show up I'm going to change the color to be something a little more pleasing that red color is kind of alarming and I did that on purpose so that it reminds you to change the color to whatever you want so I changed it to gray but uh, but that's it that's that's all the um, goofing around we have to do as far as modifying the CSS to make this a, a global web page if uh, if we go over here and refresh this page now as it sits on our hard drive you can see that uh, my border now fits nicely around my text um, the text is gray and uh, and that's pretty much the way my web page is exactly the way I defined it. Um, now, just like any other text element, uh, oops, I think I already have this open, don't I? Yep. I can. Uh, I'll show you how we can add a whole bunch more text. I'll just mo add that a bunch of times. Right, let's make it a proper paragraph. And we'll even, oops, and we'll even add a couple paragraphs there. That's a lot of text now. We can go back over here and refresh again. And uh, as you can see, it added all that text, but also made my uh, border stretch exactly as we'd expect. We can add even a whole lot of text if we want to here. I'll just I'll duplicate that line. You can't tell that I did there, but I did. I duplicated the line. So there, I did it again. And, uh, and now, you look, our page is, is much, much longer. There's all sorts of text in there, but our borders did exactly what we want. So... Uh, so once again, uh, mostly through just some naming of your layers for 
your Photoshop file, upload it to PSD to CSS Online. Uh, let's see. Upload it to PSD to CSS Online, and uh, in this case, do a little bit of manual editing of your of your file, and uh, and your text diaries grow. So, uh, hope you have fun with that, and uh, thanks.